What's going on all you free melons out there? It is me once again, it's Eli coming at you today. First free melon free log. Yeah, I thought, you know, it'd be a good idea when I don't have much time as is right now where I'm working full time on a film. Yeah, so I have to apologize because I haven't been able to release as many videos as I and lectures as I wanted to. But yeah, I thought it'd be a good idea just to, you know, just to have a chat with you guys about a couple of topics. Um, first of all, it's a glorious day. I'm feeling really good. Today's one of my first days off and I'm fasting right now. So I am on day nine of a 10 day fast, a 10 day water fast. And I'm feeling very, very, very good. Uh, I'm gonna make another lecture on this, um, on fasting and what you can expect. But just very, very, very briefly, when you're fasting, you still can function, you know? So I've been on set, on a movie set, not super intense, not incredible exertion, but you know, I'm able to go to work and I'm able to function. And I was also able to work out. So I was working out, I think I worked out four times out of the nine days so far. I've had four full workouts, you know, calisthenics, uh, 10 sets, uh, each exercise, three exercises, 10 sets, uh, deadlifts, push-ups, some handstand exercises, these types of things. So when you're fasting, rest is obviously extremely important, but you can exercise, and when you do feel the need to, to exercise, you know, go ahead and do it. The calories should be the absolute last thing that you worry about. Do not worry about calories. The source of energy is, is what you get from sleep. Right? Sleep is nature's best agent for recovery. And so if you're getting good sleep and good rest while you're fasting, then you're doing your body very, very well. I'm gonna head out to the grocery store and get out and get a couple of supplies for me to get ready to break my fast, some orange juice and whatnot. Hunger virtually leaves you. Like, I mean, you're, you're not hungry. If you can make it past the three to four day hump, your hunger will just go away. And technically, I could go a lot longer than 10 days. I mean, it's amazing. I feel like an atom right now, just surviving and, and, and comfortably off of the ether and just just breathing in that uh, that prana, you know, what, that, that vital force, whatever it is. You're just so self-sustained and it just, it really does make you feel superhuman. So uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. I can't say enough about fasting. We'll, we'll do lectures on this in the future. Uh, as, of, as I said earlier, I'm working on a movie set right now, and you have to imagine that I get questions. I, I get questions all the time. I put myself in a, in a position where I'm obligated to answer questions and, and address misconceptions about food and living. And I, I can tell you, channels like mine, that are geared to the instruction in natural law and natural science and vital economy of the body, the occult workings of, of how nutrition and health actually work are so necessary. Uh, virtually nobody out there knows anything about health and eating, but almost nobody. I run into very few people who really get it, who really understand what the human body is, what what human energy is, and, and uh, you know, it's just so important. I mean, I highly I highly recommend that you guys subscribe to this channel because every every lecture that I put out, you know, you'll never forget the stuff that I teach ever. It, there's it's so simple. Truth is always so simple that you will never ever ever forget it. And when I present it to you, it clicks. Hopefully. And, uh, and you know, you're just that much, uh, that much more informed for the rest of your life. All you vegans, all you vegans out there know, the one question that everybody asks you right off the bat, where do you get your protein? My goodness, if I had a penny for every single time someone asked me where I get my protein from. Listen guys, um, protein, okay? You do not need the amount of protein that the health community tells you you need. Period, okay? Protein is is absolutely one of the last things that you need, okay, to, to be able to function properly. Let me put it to you this way. When you come into this world, 
as a human being, as a fetus, okay? You grow and you develop and you mature. Eventually you're born. Now, um, the first things, the first substances that you should be eating and ingesting as a baby, obviously breast milk, okay? What is in breast milk? There is everything that the baby needs to grow in breast milk, in proper human breast milk. Human, not cow. Human breast milk. Breast milk has, what, less than 2%, less than 1% protein? There is no protein in breast milk, almost none. There is everything else in breast milk that, that has the constituents for human health, but protein is like, is, is, is almost completely absent. But yet, the baby grows and grows and grows at an alarming rate, making quantum leaps of development, cognitively and physically, skeletally, uh, nervous system, everything, just the, the bones calcify. There's a rapid, rapid increase in the amount of development that goes on from the time you're born to the time you're, what, six years old, seven years old? Huge increase. And especially in those first two years when you're when you're when you should be breastfeeding, you're making you know rapid growth. So from whence does this growth come from? If protein is the be all and end all of, of tissue growth and tissue uh, development, it's not protein. It's all the other things that are necessary to the human function. Right now, as an adult, okay, I I am growing and developing at a far, far, far uh, lower rate than I was when I was first born. So to say that I require more protein now than I did when I was a kid making explosive growths, right? It's nonsense, right? I don't need that protein. When you eat a diet of fruits and starchless vegetables, they don't contain full, complete proteins. They, com they contain only trace amounts of amino acid. But because the human clearly does not need abundance of protein, as evidenced by the, by the breast milk of the mother, where you only need vague amounts of protein and make rapid, rapid developments, evidenced by that, what nature has constituted in fruits and vegetables is exactly what you need, is, is perfectly in line with the type of protein constitution that you would get as a growing child and as an adult, right? It, 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 it's just, of course, it's, it's perfect harmony, perfect harmony. You don't need animal tissue for your protein. You don't need dense starches for your protein. You just need fruits and fruits and veggies. Nuts are loaded with protein, way more protein than you need. You can't use protein. There's a lot more to say on this, but... So this is just a general theme that you can keep in your mind, something that's very easy to remember. When you were growing up, you needed almost no protein from breast milk, yet you grew up, right? And you did that with the initial years of no protein. So now as an adult, right, why would you need more protein than you needed when you were making ridiculous growth spurts as a child? Okay, you understand? There's more to say on this. Uh, I will say more on it on a lecture, but um, yeah, just keep that in mind for now. All right, anyway, that's about it for now, guys. Thanks for listening to me rant on and on. Subscribe to the channel. We've definitely got a lot more videos and lectures and whatnot coming up for you. So stay tuned for those, and I will catch you guys on the next, on the next video. All right, thanks a lot. See ya.